Well, good morning, everyone, or actually, it's afternoon. It's one o'clock here in the middle of USA. We've got beautiful cold temperatures. Well, pretty nippy outside. We haven't got cold. We need cold. In this part of the town, neck of the woods, we need ice cold. Freezing cold. Get that freezing cold in. Let it, let it be here a week. No less than a week. If you get two weeks, even better. Come springtime, you ain't going to have all these, these, all these pathogens and all these ticks and fleas and... <laughs> Get rid of them. Get rid of them. We sure need our systems back, don't we? I am talking, the, the reason for this video, did I say today's December 18th, 2021? Okay, make sure I did then. Trying to slow down. I got someone coming here real shortly, and I need to make this. Need to make this video. They've been after me and after me and after me to do this and trying to get situated where I can. They being the guides and stuff. For those who may not know me, I'm Hireways Woman, Catherine Tler Don Masters, TLG. Um, I am a death experiencer, October 1992. While battling a fatal diagnosis, I did die. And divine intervention. You got nobody can tell me that angels and the heavenly beloveds do not exist because I could tell you absolutely they do. Because I would not know the things that I came back knowing with uh, what we call godlike technologies. And you know, there's a, there's, I've been teaching, check out my other videos. I've been teaching about how to do spiritual warfare because nobody's really doing that. Nobody is really getting in to tell you how to do spiritual warfare. How, what is spiritual warfare? What does spiritual warfare look like? And I've got lots and lots of things in my videos because you need to go in looking because you've got to be very careful about what you put down, what you advertise, because you can get YouTube in trouble. Okay? Help those folks down. Help them out there. Put in the, into the description. People are smart enough that, that if they want to know, if they want to educate themselves, if they want to be caught up, caught up with where a whole lot of us is, because, you know, the tinfoil hats, us who've been wearing tinfoil hats, we've been waiting for a long time for people to catch up. And we're there. They're there. And they're listening. And, and there's a lot of healing, a lot of healing that's been going on. So I want to tell you about something that I have come across. And this is very important. So whatever you're doing... Shut off the phone, shut the TV off, because you're not going to want to miss this. Because I want to tell you how they're getting demons into your house. How they're doing this, and you're participating with it. You're doing it. Free will. Got to abide by that free will. Now, what is what am I talking about? I'll give you a quick reference. You've seen movies where a vampire stands at the door, and you're going... Look at like, why well, you ain't fine? Well, you have to invite me in. Oh, yeah, I can't cross this threshold unless you invite me in. So once you invite in, oh, yeah, they can go all day long, nonstop. Till you move to another door or home or whatever. But anyway, and sometimes that doesn't matter. Because once you do it, so you better know what you're doing when you do it. So. Been watching these paranormal investigators, and I tell you, one of the things that I always watch is I like to go back when they first started out doing their paranormal investigation, especially you know those ones that are really starting. They get the money in, and you see this um, exotic spending. All of a sudden, they start getting a lot of tats. Oh yeah, man, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, that's sick. Oh, that's dope. It's a, yeah, you know, that's kind of some really good words for it. Some excellent synonyms. Because what I'm looking at, because I am a master. That's why my last name is Masters. That's my legal last name. Masters. Catherine Tolera Don Masters. I know that they do not know what they're doing when I start seeing all these tattooings. 
Now, they say that this is, oh, this is really dope, this is really cool, this is going to get me more views of this and this. And no, no, that shows me that these spirits got a hold of you. You just think you know what you're doing. You don't. Most of them don't know what they're doing. 98% of them don't know what they're doing. Those that are on YouTube, read it, TikTok, yes. The greater, okay, I know some people aren't going to be happy with that, 90%, but I'm not going to go any lot lower. I'm not going to go any lower because I know what you're supposed to be doing. I know that even now seances, it's not a bad thing. Seances are not bad things unless you're not doing them properly. Now, when I say that, I know how you're supposed to be seated, how you are to be seated. How? How all you are to be seated. What you're supposed to read, what from what to what are you to read. Then after that, what you are to sing. And then a prayer you are to make. If I do not see those, you are not connecting with the higher realm. You're not connected with the alive in spirit. You are connecting with the dead in spirit. Don't use terms positive, negative energy. Because you always got to have positive, negative energy. Positive energy, I'll tell you the effects of positive energy. A full moon inundates us of positive energy, positive ions, positive energy. There are countries that are lenient. They have a leniency that during the full moon... That whatever mischief or things that happen to happen, that they are not held to, they're more a little bit more dismissive because it is so powerful that we become unbalanced and we are not thinking and doing right. Okay. Now, there are people who get negative ion emitters, and if you have them in bank, fantastic because your percentage of mistakes go from about uh, they 27%, they go down to about 4%. We got a negative ion emitter. And they've also shown that in basketball courts and stuff that when they've turned on a negative ion emitter, that the players improve exponentially. So when you sit there and say, I am banishing negative energy, well, you're getting rid of negative energy. Now you got this positive energy, which means. You're going to have headaches, joint ache, muscle aches. You're not going to be thinking right, thinking clearly. And so the term that you use is bad energy, harmful energy, unrighteous energy. I want good energy. I want healthy, rejuvenating, joyful, virtuous energy. Because actually... Virtuous is a good word to use because right now, right now, the thrones of virtue are opening. That's what's going to help people get back into alignment. And our men, we're trying to rescue our men because our men are in big trouble because they're trying to turn them all gay. And they're doing a pretty good job on a lot of them. Well, you want to feed your family, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I do. Well, you want to be able to have money in your pocket? Yes. You want to have a car to drive? Yes. You want to be able to go to the grocery store, go to the go to Walmart? Yes, yes. Okay, well, you got to get down with me. What? Yeah, you got to get down with me. And then, uh, oh, Harvey, Will, and all them others, you know, you have to get down with them, too. And there are people come up to them later on and go, well, why did you why did you sell, sell yourself out like that? Because I was hungry. I needed a home. Needed food. So they know. They know how they know what to dangle in front of of us because they know what to do how, what to dangle in front of us because to make us hungry to make us hungry. So when we're hungry, that's what they come around with. And they know exactly what to do because they made us that way, made us that hungry. Now, let's talk about how is it 
that they're able to get you willingly to participate in a conjuring, in a ritual of connecting with the dead, the dead in spirit, evil, demonic beings, the nasties. And here's how they're gaining power because they want, they want every home having demonic activity. And you guys are hearing this all over the web. People are telling you this app is doing it. This is doing it. Now here's what you're not seeing yet. When I saw this, oh, ha uh, uh They do it through, we're doing a paranormal investigation. We're going to get a spirit board, a Ouija board. We're going to play around with what we don't know what we're playing with. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. But no, I don't want to see that. Because the minute that you're watching them, you don't need your hands on there because this is a channel. God says, what they, what men conceive in the darkness, I will bring into the light and I will shout it from the mountaintops. What are they doing in the dark? What men conceive in the dark? Where they got, here we go, dark web, paranormal investigation. I'm not saying all of it's evil. I'm telling you just how what they're doing right here. They're getting you to tune in. And then right in the midst of it, we're going to get a Ouija board out. We're going to get a spirit board out. We're going to do some conjuring. And they got the hands there, and they're sitting there doing all this communication where you're connected. When I do readings, when I do readings, all I need is a connection. Once that connection is made, I got it. I got it. I, I don't need to see any pictures. I don't need to hold anything. All I need to do is basically that when I do readings, I just want it to be in a PM box, I don't want any pictures. I just want words. That's it. Because all the other stuff can be too distracting to me. So for the greater majority of times when I'm reading, that's all I want. So it can be a PM. It can be a text. It can be a phone call. It can be an email. Whatever establishes that connection. And once I've got that connection, now I, I, am, I am a very righteous reader. I've been up there for 14 minutes with them all. I don't cross the spiritual laws. And I don't and I'm a mature woman. I am a mature adult. I don't need daddy and mommy holding my hand. That was that went out the door back when I was 15 years of age. Actually, I don't think they uh, they did a few times when I was little. Okay. I've been growing up all my life, and I'm sure there's a lot of you that that just rang true with you too. So no, we don't need daddy, mommy, government who thinks that we are its children and we just can't seem to know how to behave. And they're the ones up there fornicating. Big old orgies. Just go to Las Vegas and hold the record for the greatest orgies. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, you'll die. Yeah. Yeah, go there because they're going to decay. You know, free will. We're going to do a blood sacrifice. We're going to take that energy from them. We're going to use it. Hey, let's have a let's have a rap concert. Yeah, show them everything that what we're gonna do. They can see it right there, right there. You see what we're doing? You see going through the doorway how they look normal, and then they go through the doorway and they don't look so good, and then sit there and go, "Hey, they did a blood ritual. It was a sacrifice." What do they know? Well, listen, we knew back in Kiss, Kids and Satan service. Yes, it does stand for that. If you look, if you watch his movie. The video, Kiss, I Love It Loud, it's just like looking at Travis Scott for his astral world. Anyway, this is how they do it. They open the channel. They got you watching paranormal investigations. Your energy, you are connected. They got you. That's how that they're getting demons into your house. And you're doing it willingly. And they're going to keep that video up there. They're not going to take that down. They're going to keep every video they can where they're showing these people doing the Ouija board, spirit boards, connecting with the dead. Because the more that you watch it, the more that we watch it. Not in my house we don't do it. The more that they've got, they've got demonic possessions. Demonic possession, whether it's directly you at that time 
or it's in your house, your life. You got it. Most people don't know how to get rid of them. Now, incense, incense is not something that you go up against a, a demon, okay? There is, there is a way that you do get rid of them, and it's very, very easy to do. And if you are needing my help, then you need to get a hold of me because I do not talk about this really socially because it is mine. <clears throat> and I prefer that it is only used the right way. So I do not quite give this out so freely. So there is one way that you can absolutely get rid of any demonic beings in your place out of a person. Now, once you've done a cleansing, once you've done the cleansing, and, and it has to be very thorough, once you've done that, once you've done everything, followed it, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. You're going to see it. You're going to know it. Once that is secured, okay, now, using incense, the smudging, that is like an upkeep. It's like, well, we're going to go in there, we're going to shampoo all the carpets, get them all back to like, like they're brand new, and then we're going to vacuum after that. So we got the deep clean, we got the deep, deep cleansing, and then we're going to do the vacuuming here and there, keep it up. Well, that's what the smudging is. And remember, you're not getting anywhere if you say, oh, I'm getting rid of the negative energy. You're not. You're just you're just spinning your wheels. You're not getting anywhere. You're not getting anything accomplished. Okay? So, don't be watching. Don't let your family tell your loved ones, tell your church, churches, get this out there. Do not watch videos of people doing messing with spirits messing with Ouija boards spirit boards I'll tell you this right quick the origins of well I've got it on my on my list the origins of the Ouija board I got a video on it take a look at it because I really don't want to make this that long I only I'm really short on time so there you go folks this is really important, real important. Please do tell even the teachers, your school, tell everybody, do not watch videos where they're doing conjurings, rituals. Don't do that. Not unless you are, you are very knowledgeable about it. Too many kids act like they're so bored. I don't know how. I don't know how kids can be bored. In this day and age, I sit there and think, when I was growing up, I didn't have all this stuff. We weren't born. We were always busy. There's a lot of things to do. I mean, there's too much to get into. And the devil is, I'll tell you what, evil, this is how they're wanting to, this is all part of breaking down the family. Because, you know, this is one of the things that they did research in back in the 40s and 50s. And when the research came back, because they want to know how to take over America or take over countries and stuff, and, and it's a formula that fits everywhere. The strongest stronghold of the people is, number one, their family. Two is a place where they come together. Churches, weekly events, whatever. It's Generally, it's always the churches. It's good to have those. As long as they're, they're the right churches and they're not up there telling you, well, a woman does this and a man does that and a woman is restricted to this and a man can do anything. Because I tell you, I learned I never felt so betrayed, I think. The first time that I ever felt so betrayed is when I learned and I was married. I got married. And that was the eye opening for me. And I could not hardly believe that all those years of growing up and into my 20s, into my late 20s, that I was sitting in 
being a part of a belief system that literally taught the women one thing and secretly taught the men, showing them in the Bible that says, if a woman dies while she is giving birth and or she dies while laboring, or of course, when you saddled a woman, you are not to give a moment's care to that because that's what a woman is here for. That's how they got men to defy women. We're going to raise you up. We're going to tell you you're better than women because God says this, and we're going to make everything male deities. So you will believe us and that you will mistreat that woman. You will not know that she is, she comes from the throne of virtues. Yeah, you're going to be a player. Yeah, be a player. A man's supposed to go out there and sow his oats. Yeah, yeah. Man's supposed to have everything brought to him. Yeah. You know, big old drumstick, get after it, man. They took you away from us, and we're fighting hard to get you back. And actually, that's going to be another video, another time, another video, because what I have just found out, I mean, when I say that, I'm talking about a long things that have been coming, 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 and it's like, boom, the last piece went in there, and... When it says, when the prophecies say, say... That when the veil comes down and mankind, everyone, every species, there will no longer be this hidden dimensions. The infrared curtain comes down and you are going to see all the mechanics. I got a video called Mechanical Skies. I know what's above us. I know there's correct. Uh, construction, I-beams, industrial fans. I know all this stuff is above us. I know what we're fixing to see. So it's not going to shock me. But it says that those who don't know, it's gonna, it will cause the hearts of men to fail and that man will go to the mountains and ask it ask the mountains to fall upon them, please kill them, take them out, but no one will be able to die. No one will be able to die. That's why that we are, the, the prophecies are saying that we have to make a decision right now. We're in this vice. You got to make it. You got to make it. You got to make it. You either are for good or you're for bad. You got to make it. There's a there's prophecies that says that I rather have you hot or cold to be lukewarm. I will spew you from my mouth. It's like that's what you're gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Give me something to wash my mouth out. You're gonna be one way or another. It says there's a prophecy that said that was spoken to our generations before us. That went, I'd rather you to sin and then know me than to know me and then sin. Another way is, it is better for you to not know the difference between right and wrong and commit wrong than for you to know the difference between right and wrong and commit wrong. Autistic, Down syndrome, etc. These kids know right from wrong. How in the world there's a lot of adults out there ain't got that? I don't know. But I'll tell you what my father said. I loved it. He never said it to me, but I heard him say it to others. You're an adult and you don't better act like that. Like I said, he ain't, he ain't ever said that to me. Nobody's ever had to say that to me. You're an adult and you don't better act like that. That's where they get you. And that's the difference. That's the difference. That's how you know what an adult is and what it and what is it. Okay? That's how you know. And we better bind together. We better decide. You better decide. Because it's there. And there's going to be this time. It's going to hit. 
It's going to hit. It's going to be hit. They're trying to do the shift change. And it will be like that. And and where you happen to be at a time is where you're going to be. So anyway, do not watch. Do not watch these videos with the conjurings. Don't watch movies where they got demonic <laughs> activity, these movies, because that they literally, when they make these video movies, when they make these big movies, they're in a pentagram, just like they do that with bands. But we do this back in the 70s when metal, metal came, not rock and roll. Now, we got the disco. Everybody's dancing together. Everything was great. We had a good industry. You know what they did? Evil didn't like us dancing together and getting along. And we, we were making money. We created an industry for ourselves. What happened? Metal came in. And what was what was the way that they how how we knew it was evil is they took all disco paraphernalia, memorabilia, all the records and stuff. These are bands. These are good people. They took them to a stadium. They dumped them in the middle of the stadium and they did a sacrifice of lighting and they burned them. And down that went. And what did he get replaced with? Kids and Satan service. And having this, having kids on the video with their with their eyelids painted white, eyes, you know, and symboling their you know, the lights are on, but nobody's home. That's what it symbolizes. That's what it symbolizes. The white light symbolizes the lights are on, nobody's home. That's where that saying comes from. And right after that, what do we have happening? Next concert, metal concert, a metal concert. Kids trampled. That stopped and trampled. So they were stopped to death, trampled to death. The next one, girls and women being raped, ain't nobody stopping it. Then the next one, more kids stomped to death at a concert. I didn't go to concerts. The only concerts I went to were country and western. I went to one air supply, loved it, loved it. Took my nieces and nephew to a Brian Adams concert in Amarillo, and absolutely, they were not going without being chaperoned, and I was there. And I was like a hawk with them. And I helped them to see what it was like, too. So if they decide to go to any more, they know what to listen to their Aunt Catherine. Because I don't want my babies, my loved ones, getting sacrificed at what's going on. And they didn't get any, any better, folks. Take a look at what's happening around. Anyway, there you go, folks. There's the light on for you. Don't be watching that stuff. Don't participate in it. Stay spooky. No. Watch the virus as a thought. You have to learn, understand how the craft, the craft is. Craftiness. Craftiness. Okay? Take care of each other. Help out each other. When you see a spiritual warrior fighting and battling and they're, and they're getting stomped, your job is to get in there and help. Because there's a lot of us that know what's going on, deeply know what's going on, and have won a lot and stopped a lot, which means there's those of us who have very big, very, very big enemies. And we are the ones I want out of here more than a lot of you because I'm the one that can help set you free and help you to save what you got hang on to what you got do better and get rid of what shouldn't be present protect your babies protect your loved ones help each other and thank you for your prayers I am doing a lot better I really didn't think that I was going to honestly see Christmas I really didn't it was very touch and go. And that's as far as I want to go. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Lifting me up. 
thank you for sharing your energies with me. Because mine was going down. Thank you so much. And I have asked my angels, Heavenly Beloved, please, you know, you know who prayed and lifted me up, who was fighting on my behalf. Your word says it is part of the, part of the um, knowing how to spiritual warfare. Thou knoweth, thou knoweth who prayed on my behalf. Bless them. Your the spiritual law says that you bless. And so you shall be blessed and then some. And the opposite of it to it is if you do what you take do, not only will you repay, fix that, but you also be added onto that which you'll have to do. That's like, well, here's this fine for this. Okay, well, you're going to have this sentence and then we're going to have this fine on top of it. That's the way it works, good or bad. That's the way it works. And so their loved ones, their life. Do you know what they need? And give that to them. And even give them some of the desires of their hearts. Because that is a that is a law. That is a script, spiritual law. We can have desires of our hearts. Yes, we can. And I ask that for my, my friends, my loved ones, my brothers and sisters out there. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. And a blessed new year. New year. Take care all.